Breaking news, Martin Truex Jr. does well on mile and a half tracks. Hey everyone, I'm Kim Kuhn, this is Rearview Mirror, and we'll get back to old MTJ in a few, but first, both the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series and the NASCAR Xfinity Series wrapped up their regular seasons in Chicagoland. Friday night, Johnny Sutter got his second win of the season and Christopher Bell clinched the regular season championship. The veteran Sauter had a few words for his competition heading into the opening round of the playoffs. You mess with the bowl, you get the horn. Well, all right, that settles it. Johnny Sauter is a Breakfast Club fan. Next up, Saturday, the NASCAR Xfinity Series hit the track. After Eric Jones won the first two stages, Justin Allgaier said, nope, I'm gonna take the win. He makes a move to the grass and goes three wide to get the lead and collect his second win of the season. I'm sensing a theme here. Elliott Sadler won the regular season title, and then we got to see this rare event. And we have dueling burnouts. And we have dueling burnouts. Guys, Kentucky is next weekend. Move on. Alrighty then, I'll move on to the memorable moment of the week presented by Allegiant. What else is green that drops at a rate? Uh, let me think. Great. For the fifth time this season, Martin Truex Jr. found his way to victory lane and he did it in true MTJ fashion. Early pit road issues meant the 78 team had its work cut out for them. After Kyle Busch and Chase Elliott took the coveted stage wins, Truex shook it off and said, what hole? A speeding penalty and a loose lug nut were no match for the 78 team. Can anything slow these guys down? Maybe some slime? Martin Truex Jr. Get slimed right there in victory lane in Chicago land. Well, guess not. And from the sound of it, I'd say your regular season champ is a little happier than he was last weekend in Richmond. You did it, bro. There's that. Oh, spot. yeah. <laughs> this is awesome, man. That's it for this week's edition of Rearview Mirror. Tune in next week as we get to see who voiced old Loudon the Lobster. <laughs>